Okay, hello everybody, and welcome to the Dragon Age Keep. I hope, I hope this works. <laughs> um, I, I just barely started really doing recordings on my PC. Uh, this is on my Alienware Alpha thing that I got. Um, yeah, hopefully it works. Um, but uh, sorry. Also, a uh, quick ah, see, freaking go away. I have to turn those off. Don't pop up. Um. I've been answering your guys' comments from the last, like, uh, couple, like d day or two, I think. Um, there's a lot. I'm sorry. I fell behind. I was not feeling too well the last couple days. And staring at the computer gave me a headache. So I also didn't get a video up yesterday, but hopefully you can forgive me. But um, Subby did ask if I was going to record me going on at the Dragon Age Keep. To see to put it input all my decisions to make my custom Dragon Age Inquisition world state, and I was like, sure, why not? <laughs> I have seen that people do that, so. Um, that how do we do it? Review your drag. Review your red. Just gotta press that one. Okay, I guess these will maybe change, but. Um, yes, so we do have a couple things to talk about though. Before I forget, um, I. At this point, now we finished Dragon Age 2. The other two games I have going are Mass Effect 2 and my second season of Dragon Age Inquisition with uh, Talon. Um, I'm, for now, I'm going to focus on those two, at least for the next week or so. Um, because they are, the, they are, they are the, the middle children. They haven't been getting as much attention from me. <laughs> uh, and I do feel bad because people do enjoy watching those and I enjoy making them. Um, Dragon Age Inquisition, the second run through with Talon, will, not today, maybe today or maybe tomorrow, the episodes will officially be the PC deluxe version that I bought. I actually bought that, played all the way up until I remade Talon, and almost exactly, I uh, just, like, recorded his, his character creation, like, I went into the Black Emporium, recorded all his, like, what he exactly, like, where the stuff was at. And then I went into Inquisition on the PC and remade him there. Um, so episode 48 is where that's going to start being um, the official PC Deluxe Edition version. And it's freaking gorgeous. I can't even handle how gorgeous it is. And you'll see it. That, that I put together a weird little video that will hopefully go up today of me just kind of showcasing some of it. But that video does go back in time a little bit uh, to when Haven was destroyed. So hopefully... Today, I'll be able to play some more to where the, we're officially caught up to where we were at on the 360 version. Um, as for another game that I want to play, um, I was I was thinking about it. Um, I A long time ago, it was mentioned by several people that I should play The Witcher 3, and I have really wanted to, and I actually did start. I played like the first hour or so with like the tutorial a while back. Um, but I, I ended up, there was too many series I was trying to do at once, so I didn't end up uploading it. Um, but I may do that one. I might just focus on the second season of Dragon Age Inquisition and Mass Effect 2 for a little bit, just to try to make those two a little more even, uh, get them, get them going, get them done type thing. Um, but also the, another big thing was that eventually I do actually want to go back to my second warden, Lynn, the Dalish Elf, and I want to play that. And I don't know if you guys would be interested in watching a second season of that, maybe a little more edited. I do plan on doing some things quite differently in that one. Um, like I plan on, like I see Lynn is more of a direct head-on person, and so we're going to go straight to Denerim. After we find Morrigan and get, well, after, you know, we, after the events at Ostagar and Morrigan's like, we should just go straight to Denerim. And I'm like, I was like, no, you can't do that. But that's what we're going to do this time. And I'm going to see what happens. I, I don't know what happens with that route. Um, so, cause he, and eventually I'd like to play Dragon Age 2, a second season of Dragon Age 2, because, but I want to play with my, with my Dalish Elf Warden. Um, so let me know if those are things you guys would be interested in seeing. Um, I can maybe, ed I'll probably have to edit out some of the, like, boring travel things or just boring battles that happen or whatever. But also Origins, if it is a very tactical game, and so showing the battles and how you, how you deal with them is part of it. So just let me know what you guys think. Um, 
for now, I will be focusing on, just for like a week or two, Mass Effect 2 and the second season, Dragon Age Inquisition. And eventually, with these, with my first run through of Origins and Dragon Age 2 that I'm inputting right now, I do want to do a third season of Dragon Age Inquisition, but what it will be is actually me going back with my original Dragon Age Inquisition character, Erica, and playing through properly with her. At least, even if I don't record it, if you guys like are like kind of like, meh about that, you know, let me know. I'm going to play it, and there will be some, I will be changing a couple of the decisions I made, some of the big ones, um, at least one that I can think of, for sure. Um, but... Yeah, so I do want to do that, and I would love to record it, and and but it w- that one would be really pared down to like interesting fights, some interesting cutscenes, or all you know all the cutscenes and like some of the dialogue and like you know occasionally things where I'm wandering around and I'm like, Bleh. um. Also, I would maybe like to live stream that if you guys are interested in that. A couple people have asked about that, um, and uh, that is something I, I'm interested in doing because I'd like to talk with you guys while doing. I almost was gonna just do it for this but then I was like no I have no I have nothing there's no way anybody would know (laughs) so um let me know in the comments honestly what what are good like uh live stream times for you guys like um like if you want you can like tell me your like time zone I'm in what time zone am I in I'm in I live in America and I uh mountain I think I'm in mountain time or central I'm either in mountain or central there's only one hour difference so you can either tell me what your like time zone and time best times are and I'll like figure it out or you can figure it yours out compared to mine and let me know it wouldn't be a very regular thing because I do my archaeology job which is every other week being out in the field um so I could do it like every other week at some point in time I also live in a house with a lot of loud people. (laughs) I live with my family still, and so, you know, there's, like, people and kids running in and out, so it would be something where I have to kind of wait until people are out of the house. Um, so, yeah, that was a lot of information, but, yeah, so live stream stuff, I'm gonna try setting that up, tell me what you guys think, when you think would be a good day or a good time to do it, um, and what, maybe what game you'd like to see me playing on that, um, because the games I've got, and I'm, I'm, I probably won't do Mass Effect 2 live stream, but I would like to maybe do the Talon, second, second season of, Ta- like, Dragon Age Inquisition with Talon, a live stream, um, I'll probably do the, if I, if I, if we do The Witcher 3, then I'll probably start out doing that one with recordings, but it might go, it might kind of, also go into live streams. I know, and I know you can pull out stuff. You can pull out your recording from the live stream and edit that and put it up. And that's probably what I would do, just to keep make make sure things kept going on the YouTube. Um, but live streaming would be fun. Fun to talk to you guys, uh, especially in the wide open expanses of Inquisition, where sometimes not a whole lot of stuff goes on. Um, but. Yeah, so those are the ones, and then, oh, and then the, the third season of Dragon Age Inquisition, the rerun with Erica, I could also live stream that. None of that would be happening immediately, but just, I just kind of want to put feelers out in an official video for it and see what you guys think, you know, or like, a, like officially asking you guys what you guys think about that. Um, let me know what you think about playing next, the next big game I should play, should I play Witcher 3, second season of Dragon Age Origins? Um, those are the big ones right now because the, I think I'm, I'm going to wait for my Erica run through until I finish playing Talon. That seems only fair and polite <laughs> to both of them and to the people who've watched, uh, the Talon one. Cause I don't want to get like totally consumed with one or the other and f- abandon the other one, you know? So Witcher 3, Dragon Age Origins second season. Those are kind of what are the next big games I'm thinking about including. Um, and... So then, then at live stream times, let me know what you guys think. And, oh, I feel like there was something else. Oh, I was going to say, we're not quite there. We're at 495 subscribers, but I did want to say thank you for that. Um, I think that that's amazing. <laughs> you guys are very, you guys are awesome. Um, I'm, I'm glad, I'm happy. It, 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 it's more than I thought, honestly. Like, you, you hope that you'll do well. Like, you do. Like, you don't start doing this for the hope in the hopes that you'll only keep 20 subscribers, you know? 
but it's only because you guys have been so patient and accommodating with me starting out and fumbling around that that we're doing so well and we've got a really good group of people going i like it um I'm really, really loving talking to people in the comments. Sometimes I write these huge, long essays that are just ridiculous. But everybody has really cool ideas. You're always giving me tips and, like, advice, but you're telling me cool stories and, like, you know, anecdotes and, like, information that, like, I don't know about the games. Like, I just found out... every Almost every day I'm finding out something new from somebody in the comments. But I also want to say thank you to the people who don't necessarily comment or don't comment at all and just watch because that's the kind of person I am on YouTube. All I do is watch. But, like, when I'm watching YouTube videos. But I want to know that I... I recognize you people. I appreciate you guys just for watching. Um, and I know some of you guys have commented before and everything, but I know that there are people that I know who are just watching and... Um, I appreciate it because that's what I do. I'm a, I'm a silent viewer. I'm not I'm not much of a commenter on YouTube, but I don't know. I just appreciate you guys a lot too. I honestly do. So anyway, <laughs> let's maybe do something. <sighs> Data. I don't have it. Don't worry. You can review and fix it. And I have no idea how this works. Good. We can fix that. Yay. I don't have any data. That's fine. Yay! You can use your heroes to recreate your Dragon Age story the way you remember it. Pick a hero to help build the story you'll play in Dragon Age Inquisition. This is so fun! Please keep in mind it may take some time for all your custom heroes to appear, especially during busy periods. Custom custom heroes unavailable. Please take a default hero. Please don't worry, you can change your hero later using the tapestry. Okay. Meh! What? <laughs> okay, so I, I can change this later. We'll see. Uh, who I was... A mage, an elven mage. What was that? Female elf or um. Yes, female elf mage. Elf. Oh, so it says. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Hero of monster girl magi resided in the tower Callan had for most of her life. First in general, Irving. Right. Yep. Okay. I could like change that. Oh, I can. I'll change her name. Her name was um, Durathara. Is that was that her last name? Does she have a last name? Huh. Serana. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to make up a new last name. Oh wait. Nah. Uh... No. <laughs> no. Um, for now, for now, I'll keep that. I guess I could probably change it. <laughs> Freaking, I have so many cords and wires. I'm like, whenever I have to pull out, like, I, the PC and I have to pull out the keyboard and the mouse, like, I feel like the cords just multiply by, like, 3,000. Okay. Is that, now what? Back? No, what? Okay. Yes, choose this hero. Okay, I hope I'm doing this right. Maybe I should have, like, just put out a video about being, hey, help me make a live stream so we can do this. Choose a hero for Dragon Age 2. I was a warrior and... Uh, so it's not the default... Um, the default doesn't actually have the red... Wait. Oh, no. No. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I was gonna change her name. Oh, I should have maybe clicked on her. Okay, I was... There's humans everywhere. I wasn't a human. I was a warrior, and my name was Erica. Erica Lavellan. Oh, yes, Erica Lavellan. Okay.
what I got one reward view the tapestry because the tapestry is where I can change things here you'll be able to create your unique world state to import into drag whoa I've seen like snapshots of like like in passing of people's tapestries and the art is gorgeous I love it here you'll be able to create your unique world state to import into Dragon Age Inquisition or share with friends. The tapestries are been set up with default world state. There's no save import from a previous game. Tapestries are arranged by product, and choices are grouped by theme and plot. To get started, use the menu to select a product and then choose a, a product. They don't like to select a game. Awkward. Um, and then choose a group to edit. Once you've selected a group, you'll be able to see all the choices available for you to edit. As you make edits to the tapestry, all the choices will be automatically updated to ensure your world state is always valid and can be imported in Dragon Age Inquisition at any time. Now, now you'll be able to see the outcome of a choice. You can either approve the existing choice or select a different outcome. Lo that was a romance, Fenris. Lock the choices you don't want the tapestry to automatically adjust by clicking the icon. Oh, ah, oh, so, the, okay, wow. It automatically, oh, I see, it, so it will have to automatically adjust. Of course, Ferris is alive and well, what the heck? <laughs> uh, but yes, okay. Okay, now you can, oh yeah, you can, that, that's, what I, that's what I was seeing, is that you can purchase uh, your tapestry, which would be really cool. Uh, preview the image, click buy, blah de blah. Oh my gosh, let's see. Oh, and that's my name. I had to go through several variations of it, but I got the squirrel in there, which is good. Oh my gosh, I don't know. Am I like, is it, is my screen like just a little tiny bit too? Well, they said it was like up here, you know? I guess not. Um, what's up? Oh, here we go. Dragon Age Origins. There it is. Can I... But I can choose... I can fix them on career. My name was not Marion. It was Lady. Because I'm very creative. Female warrior. Ten years ago. Malcolm. Blah, blah. Yes. Okay. Thara. What? Why is that locked? That's odd. I don't know why I would have to change the Inquisition stuff because I have no desire to change the Inquisition stuff. Okay. Do can I change her face? Ooh, I can upload an image from my computer. Okay. Uh, career. Oh, the world lore thing was added recently, too. I saw that. I saw that on the thingy. Woohoo, world lore. Oh, I gotta have to get some more to comics. Um, career, okay. Hmm. I don't know what that is. There's something about career in the thing before. Hero, world state. Okay, so I guess I can't, like, go in and, like, change her face. Oh, I just wanted to freaking... Oh, tapestry. Okay. Hero. Durthara did not die. She lived. Oh, okay, I, uh, yes, fine. She did not. Warden is alive and well. Lock that in. Okay. Choose this answer. Okay. I wish it would kind of go in order. All right, companions. Um, uh, I romanced. Boop, boop. Uh, Zevran. Lock that in. From would-be assassin to lover, Zevran stood by the warden in all things. Choose this answer. 
Excellent. <laughs> that looks so cool. Um, prologue. We should probably do that first. I can't even go. I did. I did leave the Ostagar prisoner alone. Interesting. I I actually completely. I think I'm pretty sure I forgot. Fed stolen food. Fed Ostagar prisoners. Key stole. No, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I forgot. What? That is interesting. I forgot he was there. I, uh, when I played with my dwarf, I found him. But when I with when I played with... Yeah, my, the Castle's Dwarf, when I first ever played... Well, the, like, first ever recorded Dragon Age Origins. But I completely forgot about him. Um... I promise, I what? Oh, I don't know me. No, of course I helped him. A rare white flower collected from the Kokari Wilds. Kork, Kork, Kokari. Kokari, oh, Kokari. Oh, no, nope, provided relief. <laughs> okay. Oh, we did the Awakening expansion. Witch Hunt DLC. We did Stone Prisoner. We did Warden's Keep. Okay, so this is Dragon Age 2. Okay. Um, what did I do next? I did... Interesting. Okay, so the, the variety of choices then isn't as much as I thought, because it's not going to tell me which... It's not going to let me say, here's all the little tiny quests I did. I was kind of worried, because I was like, I'm not going to be able to remember all of that. Oh, we'll go in order. Urn of Sacred Ashes. Urn not poisoned. Urn not poisoned. I I will lock that in. I don't. That, now I'm worried. I'm have to lock in decisions. You know. Arl of Redcliffe. All right, you can probably hear my mouse. Maybe I'll maybe I'll move it down to my leg or something. Um, I helped Redcliffe fight. Yes, I did. Prove this answer. Um, is it not gonna say, like like let me say like yes I did. Everybody's like companion quests. You know what I mean? Oh, there's more. Oh, I was not. Oh, that could that would have been so horrible, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm about to go through and double click everything now. Recruited. Of course, I recruited my dog. Stalwart, fury, ferocious in battle, and delighted by Tommy Rev's dog was a companion of the wardens. Can I not change my dog's name? Oh. <laughs> the warden encountered a legendary Mabar warhound. The dog's loyalty and ability to track down interesting and often strange items was unparalleled. Okay. Let's... Companions. Let's see what the little... Uh... Oh, during the answer, the, the warden may have found true love, or perhaps no one caught her fancy. Okay. I did persuade the revered mother. Uh, oh, intimidated her. Okay. Picked the lock. Oh, I could have just picked the lock. Uh, I re persuaded the revered mother to free Sten. Um, oh, freaking, that's confusing. I recruited Sten. Yes. Lending his might against the blight. Prove his answer. Why does it keep, it's like, keeps taking me back out instead of back to this screen? Uh, I did return Sten's sword, do not be a fool. Return Sten's sword or didn't recruit Sten? Okay. Return Sten Sword. I actually, I've been, I, I've, before I, when I was started Act 3 of Dragon Age 2, I actually went online and bought, like, the, the both the Dragon Age, uh, war, lore books, the world, like, the Worlds of Thetis books, and the rest of the novels that I didn't have. So I have, uh, all five of the Dragon Age novel, like, the serials, or the, not serials, the, the series, 
Um, and I read all of them to the last book because I realized that that was not written by David Guider and therefore is not quite canon. I'm not sure. So I was like, eh, but it still looks really cool. So I'll still read it. But I did read the majority of the lore books and apparent there is, I don't know if it's true or not. I actually like, and I, but it, from what it sounded like that said that Sten might be the new era shock after I, after Hawk killed the era shock in Dragon Age 2. Of course I returned Sten ashore to him. I guess that that would depend too on your choices that maybe with Stan he could just be dead. I recruit. Okay, let's let's do this page first. I guess. Yeah. Ugh, that's a horrible picture. Imagine if you romanced him. Executed. He was executed by Alistair because my warden lost her uh, resolve there at the end. Well, we didn't, I didn't, neither one of us wanted to kill Logan, and I only kept Alistair around because he was my friend, and I felt obligated to keep him around, and that was the reason that, you know, Darthara kept him around, but I think it's one of her biggest regrets, is that she killed a good man to keep her whiny baby friend around. I'm not fond of Alistair. <clears throat> not fond. I mean, sometimes, he makes me laugh, right? And, like, you see him in Dragon Age 2, and he makes me laugh, but I still, I, I hold a grudge that he was, even if, even if my warden perhaps didn't know because I, because I went back and re did a reload a couple of times there, the fact that I know that he was willing to abandon everything and everyone and that out of petty rage and hate, he was willing to, he was going to take the crown out of petty hatred as long as Loghain died. And he was willing to also abandon all his friends and his cause, the warden's cause. And he was willing to abandon Duncan's cause, like his, his foster father, basically. All for revenge that he could not get over. And my warden, Darthara, was trying. She was like, oh, that's a good idea. Let's recruit um, Loghain. Because it's, it's sort of, it's an honorable position, but it's also, in a way, a punishment it is, it is an extended execution to be a warden. And Alistair knows that all kinds of people get accepted into the wardens. Like, Duncan was no saint. Duncan killed a man. I mean, it was kind of an accident, but it happened. And he was not a saint. And freaking Alistair, it, he just... I'm not happy with him. We recruited... The dang nab... Ogren... <laughs> Recruited Zevran. Wouldn't the option be to kill Zevran? The warden is somebody else offers service against the bright. Blight. Burger burger. Stop it. Good golly. Okay, this, there's more choices now. I realize that they said you could click on it, so. Persuaded yet? Yet we recruited Zevran is alive and well, as far as I'm aware. How does Zevran die? Life of Assassin is really easy or long. Ultimately survived the events. Heck yeah, he freaking he did. Even though for some reason Dragon Age 2, the 360 version, like basically always glitches and it doesn't the romance flag doesn't trigger, so he acts like a flirt. Which kind of made me sad. Recruited win. Yes indeed. Approve this answer, put that in the bucket. Um what did it say for her, though? We joined the warden after they worked together to free the circle from an abomination's clutches. Believe strongly in using magic to help mankind. Recruited when Alistair died. He did not. Alistair was executed. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. The political machinations of early... <laughs> I know that was an option, but freaking heck. Alistair did not become the king. Alistair stayed with the wardens. He became a drunk. Overwrought with burdens of both birth and station, Alistair walked away from it all, soon turning to drink in a desperate bid to forget. So that's what would happen if I kept Loghain alive, maybe. Although, I mean, there was a bunch of options there. People were telling me, like, you can make, you can harden him, you can make him the king, and Loghain can be alive. 
But that's, it just, I didn't harden him. Like, I thought I kind of did, but I didn't. But Alistair is with the Wardens. And... Uh, we were not lovers. I had to go, like, I don't, I had to go through that with everybody. Oh my gosh, you can do that? Wow. Did not, oh no. So he didn't remain, oh, or she didn't remain Miss, wow. So that is an option too. Like, I would think that would just be, as a Kusland, yes. Right, and that is true. The Kuslands are like the next strongest family. They're not related, but they're the next strongest family, I think, in Ferelden. They're like, oh, was yeah. A tern? No, no, it's higher than it. I can't remember. Remain with the Grey Wardens and the Warden. Okie dokie. Fun times all around. We did not. Why? Why does this that have... lock that in? No. Why does it have a little heartbreak there? It's not. It's not a heartbreak thing. It wasn't a heart. I did break his heart a little bit too, didn't I? Though. Mer. Okay. Recruited Win. Win is of course life and well. What is it? What? Win was not recruited. When died a broken sword. When kill a uh, war to kill win. Oh my gosh, how could she just die? Um. Okay. Of course she's alive and well. I did. I did look up. I think or someone told me or something that. Um, if you, I think if you choose, if you have win in your party and you choose to side with the Templars, I think she attacks you at the circle, and. Like, does not, you know, you have to kill her. And so that's, that's how you don't get her as a companion. Wynne is alive and well. Um, ooh, Liliana's looks cool. Liliana's alive and well. Oh, boy. Stood by her side. Unwilling to love. Oh, yeah, and that's the other one. You have to kill her if you choose to poison the urn. I think Wynne will also attack you if you choose to poison the urn. Upset at the way the warden dealt with the urn, Lilian. Oh, she can just leave you. Oh, I thought you... Uh, how could we... I don't know. Wonder what would cause that to happen. Leliana's alive and well. Good golly. <laughs> um... Morgan had an old god baby with Alistair. <laughs> uh, Morgan did not have a baby. Morgan had an old god baby with the warden. Old god baby with Alistair. Logan had a human baby. What? Uh, how do you just have a human baby? How did what? What? Oh, if you have, uh, if you don't agree to do the right, but you are in a relationship with her, does that result in a human baby? Because you have sex before, I think, I think, yeah, you should have, you should be able to have sex before the whole ritual thing. Morgan had an old god baby with Alistair. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm just, like, triple checking myself. I'm like, eh. Uh, Leliana is alive and well. Morgan had an old god did not I did not acquire the grimoire. Oh no, I acquired it peacefully, didn't I? I did. I did. I did because because yes, because Morgan and I were palsies and she thought I went through this huge fight. And that never have that never ended the way I thought it would. I I thought she would find out that I didn't fight Flemeth and so that then and then she'd be mad at me. But she never did. I acquired the grimoire peacefully. Because I respect Flemeth, and I like her a lot. I mean, yeah. Is that it? Oh, okay. Okay, that's it for the companions. Alright. Then let's go back out. Okay. Recruit a dog. Sten. Sten sword. Recruit is everyone's everyone's alive and well. Of all of them, it's like, not just have to go through and make sure all of us, we weren't romance. And I did get in kind of a romance with Liliana, but we didn't get ahead and have a relationship. That was awkward. <laughs> Okie dokie. I'm just gonna, yep, approve this answer. And it'll take me back. 
No, oh, now you're gonna take me back to this screen. Freaking, now you're not gonna take me back to the other screen. Um, take me back. Okay, okay. Um, hero, can we, Warden is alive and well. Durthara, she is cool. We are good. Okay. Okay. Prologue, is there anything else in the prologue? Okay. And, oh, we have to do Nature of the Beast. We did Urn of Sacred Ashes. Urn is not poisoned. Okay, so that looks fine. I'm just gonna check all of them. Aha! Aha! See? Freaking heck! I just, I think I saw these and then I just didn't register it in my head. I helped Red Cliff repair. I helped Red Cliff repair. Oh my gosh. Connor did not die because I'm not evil. Connor is alive and not possessed. Briefly freed, retains a hold. Connor is alive. Freaking lock that in. Um, Bella left? I don't think she did. Who's... I did? Who was Bella? The tavern waitress? I don't know. She Was she the one with the sword and the brother? The tavern? What's the tavern? What tavern? In Redcliffe? There wasn't a tavern in Redcliffe. There was a store and there was nobody in it. Ah! Okay, I will approve this. Who was Bella? That's interesting. Wait, okay, is it? Because freaking Brevin, I did. I found Brevin. And... I forgot to return the sword. I meant to do that, and I didn't. I meant to do that. Ah! Shoot. I freed him, and I paid for the sword. Or I convinced him. The warden found Bevan and claimed a powerful heirloom sword from the young man's family to help stand against the blight, despite vowing to return it afterwards. Found the missing young man and paid the family for their family's sword, a powerful enchanted blade. Did I pay for it? Oh, I'm gonna go with this. I feel like I didn't. I think I, like, convinced him to let me take it. But I'm gonna leave that unlocked. I did. See, that's the uh, that's who I'm thinking of. I did. I did free her. Why is it blank? I helped her. Choose this answer, for sure. I know I did. This is getting long. I didn't realize it was gonna be long. Um. Yeah, that's blank. Odd. Uh, is old. Is alive. Gosh dang it. She sacrificed. No, she didn't. She. Oop, okay. My internet working? Prove this answer. She's freaking alive, the game, despite the game trying to tell me that she wasn't. Uh, Bella, Le I guess she did. I don't remember a Bella. You guys will have to let me know. Uh, maybe I'll have to double check. I'll have to double check if I paid for the sword or not. I think I'm going to have to upload this into parts. I didn't realize it was going to take so long. Okay, well, so we'll call this part here. Hopefully I'll get... I'll probably just put all the parts up today, but... Uh, or whenever I get them done. But for now, we'll just uh, call it here. Thanks. Uh, if you have any questions, or if you can clarify anything that I'm maybe doing wrong, totally let me know. I'd appreciate it. Uh, thanks again. Bye.